Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are gonna make a bow tie. Bow ties make great gifts. You can give them to your husband, you can give them to your boyfriend, you can give them to your girlfriend, you can give them to your dog, you can give them to your cat, or you can make one for yourself. This video is gonna be in our gift giving guide for 2022, so make sure you check out that link down below so you can see all the other gift giving ideas. Making a bow tie is super easy, so don't be intimidated by it, even though it has all these crazy curves. I designed a pattern for you, and you can download it at SewAnastasia.com under Digital Downloads. So the first thing you need to do is download your pattern and cut it out. To create this bow tie, you're going to need 20 inches of fabric and some fusible interfacing, plus three little buttons. The first thing we're gonna do is cut out the bow tie out of our fun snowflake fabric. We need to cut out four pieces of fabric for this bow tie pattern. So I'm gonna cut two and then I'm gonna flip it and cut two more. Now we have two cut out and let's cut out two more. Now we have our other two bow tie pieces cut out. Now you should have four bow tie pieces. Next, we're gonna cut out our fusible interfacing and I'm going to be cutting two, one for each side of the bow tie. I have my interfacing laid on top of itself, so I'm cutting out two at the same time. Now we're gonna fuse the interfacing to the wrong side of the bow tie here. So the bumpy side of your fusible is gonna be face down on the wrong side. Make sure you use a pressing cloth when you do this and just iron these down so they stick. Now I have my interface fused to the back of one of the bow tie pieces. And now what we're gonna do is grab one of the bow tie pieces that does not have interfacing on it and place our fabric right sides together. Next, we're going to be sewing all the way around the perimeter of this bow tie, but we need to leave an opening so we can turn it right side out. And we wanna do it on the straight edge here. So I'm going to leave an opening that's about two and a half inches wide, so that way I can turn the bow tie out later. Now you could also leave your opening on the end, but then that's gonna be a little bit tricky to finish that off later with the bulky fabric. So this time I'm going to be leaving an opening in the middle of the straight, part of the bow tie. You're gonna do this to both sets of the bow tie and you're also going to be sewing at a quarter inch seam allowance. Let's go sew it up. When I start sewing, I'm gonna sew into the bow tie a quarter of an inch from the edge. We're gonna backstitch. I'm gonna engage my needle down button so every time I stop, my needle's in the fabric. I'm going to turn, and now I'm gonna work my way all the way around the bow tie. When you get to the point, leave your needle in, lift up your foot, and turn. Same thing with this end, leave your needle in, lift up your foot, and turn. If you turn and you notice that you're not far enough, just go ahead, turn it back. One more stitch, and then turn again. When you get to the end, sew off the fabric there and back stitch. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now we have both sides all sewed up, so let's take a look. So you can see we have the bow ties sewn together. One side has fabric without interfacing and the other side has interfacing. And you can see real clearly where our opening is to turn it right side out. Our next step is going to be clipping all of our corners and all of our curves. So that when we flip it right side out, it's nice and smooth. This is a nice technique to use whenever you're turning something that has a corner, a point, or a curve. It's going to help it lay smoother when you clip into it or clip off the corner. So let's do it. Okay, so first I'm going to clip off the corner. So that way when we turn it, it's gonna be a nice smooth corner. I'm also going to clip into the inverted point here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clip around the curve. Now you can just clip into it or you can also clip little chunks out. Your other option is also cutting off half of the seam allowance so it's less bulky inside. So you have a lot of options for getting rid of some of this extra seam allowance so the inside of the bow tie is nice and smooth. So go ahead and choose the method that you like best and then let's turn these right side out. 
So I have my bow tie pieces all clipped and trimmed and I'm ready to turn them right side out. And I'm going to be using pieces of my tube turner to do that. You might be wondering, what is this thing in my hand? It's the Dritz tube turner and I love using it to turn tubes. Make sure you check out my video on how to use it if you haven't seen it yet. There'll be a card up here and a link down below. So what I'm gonna do is take the blue tube and I'm going to push it to the end of the bow tie down here. And then I'm going to take the wooden dowel here and I'm gonna push it into the tube and it's going to help me turn this right side out. We just gotta make sure that we are pushing the blue tube out of the opening here when we do this. And then just like that, it helps us turn the tube. Amazing, right? I love this tool. No more struggling with turning things. Okay, now we've got the other end. So all we're gonna do is take the tube and put it in the other end. And then we are going to push, making sure the blue tube is coming out of our opening here. There we go. Now you just need to push out the corners and while I have this little piece in here, I'm going to use it to push out my corners. And I'm going to take the rest of it and roll it in my fingers and then those seams on the side are going to pop out. So if you don't know that, if you take fabric and you roll it, the seam pops out on the side. It's a great little insider trick. So you don't have to worry about pulling them out, you just roll them and they naturally pop out. So now you should have the shape of a bow tie here. Next, you wanna give it a nice press and make it look nice and clean. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other piece. Now what we need to do is take this opening, flip in those edges a quarter of an inch, and then we need to sew up this opening. You could slip stitch it by hand, you could edge stitch it down. What I'm gonna do for this bow tie is actually edge stitch all the way around it creating a little edge stitch to keep it nice and crisp. But you don't have to edge stitch all the way around the edge of a bow tie. You could just leave it a nice clean seam. So we're just gonna edge stitch all the way around. Back stitch and cut, and now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now we have both of the bow tie ends finished. So now what we need to do are add some buttons and buttonholes. I'm going to be placing three buttons on one side and three buttonholes on the other side. If you need in-depth instruction on how to do this, make sure you check out my other videos on how to sew a button and how to create buttonholes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can take a look at it and try it on. There we go, now we have all of our buttons and our buttonholes on the bow tie. Take a look, we finished this bow tie. It is so cute. And we've got our buttons and our buttonholes here for adjusting the length of it for different neck sizes. Um, and now we are ready to go out on the town and wear a bow tie or gift it to someone you like. I just love this bow tie. I think it is so cute and it is gonna look so cute on for somebody for a holiday. Um, bow ties just make such a great little gift to give or Maybe you have a wedding coming up and you wanna make a bunch of matching bow ties for everyone. Or maybe you wanna make one for your dog or your cat or you know, matching bow ties for the whole family. Who knows what your vibe is and why you wanna make a bow tie. Um, but they're super easy and fun to make. They're also a great project for using up your scrap fabrics because they don't take that much fabric. And you could also do a different fabric on the back versus the front. So that way when you tie it, you got a little extra pop of color or texture in there on the reverse side. Here's the bow tie on the dress form just so you can really get a good look at what it's gonna look like when it's complete. I just love how nice and crisp this little bow tie is. It's got a great little knot in the middle. You can see the folds of the fabric for the bow and then the flat pieces of fabric in the back for the back of the bow tie. And then you can also see our adjustment here for the buttons at the neck. And there we go, we've got a bow tie from start to finish.
Thanks so much for watching Sewing in the Stage today on how to create a bow tie. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and I'd love to know what you thought about this video, so leave that down below in the comments too. And what kind of videos would you like to see coming up? Leave that down below too, so that way I know what kind of creative content to make for you. And if you're not already a follower to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you follow and subscribe so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching and following along today. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media websites, make sure you check me out on there so that way we can stay connected and creative. And I also teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois. So you can come in and take some classes personally with me, or you can also take them virtually anywhere in the world. Crazy, right? So check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. And don't forget, if you need a bow tie pattern, make sure you head over to SewingAnastasia.com so that way you can download your bow tie pattern from me that I made. So cool, right? Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.